Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Monday, the first Monday of 2020. First Monday of the decade, right? So, um, hey, let's make it count. Let's make it count. Let's make this week count. Let's 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 make an impact starting this week. This is really kind of like the official, I guess, start of the I guess the work week work week of the year. Uh, Cause you know we just had the holidays, we had New Year's, uh, New Year's Day, and New Year's Eve, and all that. Just all the holidays should be kind of the dust is settling right now. So this is the beginning of it all. So uh, I've got some, got my notes here, got some information I want to share with you guys this morning. Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. You know, uh, a very productive weekend. Uh, it's time to get, it's time to go to work now. It's time to, it's time to get busy. It's time to make things happen. Here, let me check a few things here really quick, and we're going to kick this thing off and get started here. Today, we're going to talk about five things that you need to drop. I'm going to say it. Five things that you need to drop in 2020 to have success. And, and of course, there's a lot of different things. There's, of course, there's actually a longer list, right? But we only have so much time. So I'm just going to pick five, five of my favorite out of the list that I was pulling from. And uh, uh, and I know these can definitely make an impact in in whatever it is that you're doing, whatever business, where, what, whatever level that you're in, um, you can definitely make an impact. And this is and a lot of it is all mental. It's not so much all the technical stuff. The technical stuff has its part, of course, but most of it is mental. Most, uh, you know, most of it is mental. And guess what? Most since it is mostly mental, that means that you can control it. OK, you can control it now. So let's kick it off. Five things to drop in 2020 to make things happen for you uh, this year. OK, uh, making an impact, more success, etc. So number one, number one, number one, OK, is. You need to drop the sense of entitlement. Okay. We're, I, I just said this on the call. I see it a lot in, in this industry. People, people join different programs, opportunities, whatever. Right. And since we paid our money, you know, Hey, I just paid my hundred bucks. I just paid my 500 bucks. I just paid my that, whatever, whatever the amount we have a sense of, well, since I'm in, I, should be having success because I'm in. I paid my money, Steve. I paid it. I'm in. I'm official. So I should be getting leads. I should be getting sales. Who told you that? I, I don't. No, nobody. No, I didn't hear that. <laughs> We're not guaranteed or entitled for success. Okay. Success is earned. Okay. Success is learned through massive amounts of activity over an extended amount of time, right? So we're all different. We all got different values, come different backgrounds. Everybody's going to get there at different times. And I and I know, I get it. I I totally understand where this this these thoughts come from because we're in an industry where it's all about glamorizing working from home, making a million dollars, making 500 bucks a week or whatever it might be. Um and so we join these opportunities and the, 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 the capture page said, hey, I can start making a thousand bucks, you know, a week. I'm, well, this is week one, Steve. I'm, I'm ready for my thousand bucks. I paid my money. I'm ready. But you're not entitled to that. You have to earn that. You have to do the deal first. You're going to have to learn and grow and build. Okay. Just because you're in doesn't mean anything. Yeah, great. Awesome. That's the first step. You're officially in. Awesome. Great. Okay, now what we got to do, we got to work on this thing right here. And it's going to take a little time for some of them. Some of you, it, it's, you're, you're just, some, some people just come in and they just, they're just moving, moving and shaking. Things are happening. Money leads. It just, just like, man, where they come from? Some people is just in their DNA. I've seen it. I don't see it often, but I see it. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. Brand new person, never done anything. 
around making money online, network marketing, recruiting, training, building, but it was in their DNA. It was already there. It was already planted. They already had the right mindset. They already had the right work ethic. They already had the right expectations. I've seen it. It's, it's, it's rare, but I've seen it. Most of us, we've got to grow into that. Most of us, we got to grow into that. Some of us, it's going to take a little time. Some of us going to take a few months. Some of us going to take a little bit more than a few months, but you can do it. That's the thing. So get rid of the entitlement. We're not entitled to anything. Okay. Only thing that you're entitled is whatever you paid for, you should get that. So if, if you're buying health and wellness and you bought some products, yes, you should get your products. That's what you're entitled to because you bought them, right? That you should get your back office. You're entitled to that because you bought it. You just purchased, you just paid, you pay for it. So you're entitled to that. But the results coming from that, the money, the leads, that comes from you and your work. The company, they're going to give you everything that you need to win. And then it's up to you. That's what you have to do. That's how you have to think about it. So number one, let's get rid of the entitlement because we're not entitled to anything in this industry, right? There are no guarantees. The only thing I can guarantee is this. I can't guarantee if you don't do what you need to do, you won't have success. I can guarantee that. If you don't do what you need to do on a consistent basis, you're not going to have success. That's the only thing I can guarantee. Okay. Now that was number one. Number two, negativity. You need to drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Stop with the complaining. Oh, Steve, I don't have this and I can't figure this out. And I'm not a techie person. And you know, they said something to me or, or I was offended because they said a word on a webinar and it just, it just offended me. Hey, you're going to, Hey, nobody wants to hang around and be around negative people in this industry. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to keep it real. I, we all have different backgrounds. We all have different this, and we all have different that I get it. We're all different. Okay. We're all different, different backgrounds, values, understandings, but Hey, one thing I, I do know is nobody wants to hang around anybody that's always negative. Nobody wants to hang around somebody that's always complaining. Well, I didn't get any leads today. Why well, didn't get any sales yet? I've been in for six months and I still haven't gotten any sales. Hmm, I wonder why if other people are getting leads and sales and doing different things too. Well, it's got to be something that you're doing. Make sense? <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I just look at things just as they are. If, if other people are winning, different people, different shapes, sizes, colors, backgrounds, values of other people are doing different things and you're not, hmm, it might be you. Make sense? So you've got, and a lot of times it's the negative thinking that breeds that type of activity and breeds those words coming out of your mouth. So you got to change the way you think. Be positive. People love positive people. That's one thing I've learned in this industry. People love positive people. Wow. They love them. They love them. People that just, they love people, right? You know, that, that love on them, that give them value. That's always giving them, that's always positive. Now, we're all human here and we're all adults. We have our moments behind the scenes, off the camera. <laughs> you know, there have been times I'm, I, before the camera comes on, I'm like, freaking, 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 then I, come, I, I switch on the camera. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Hope, hope everybody's having a happy, happy. I hope I'm, I'm just keeping it real here, guys. But again, remember, positive. I can turn it off because remember we're all human. I'm not saying don't get mad and angry. You're going to get that because you're human. But in this industry, you can't display that. You can't do it. You're going to have to learn to be like, man, freak, 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 freak
Hey, what's going on guys? How y'all doing today? And you just, it's just changing, just changing your mindset. And then you totally forget about all that. I have those moments. We all have those moments, right? And that's what it's all about. Drop the negativity. That's what you're going to have to do. Okay. That was number two. Number three, comparisons. Stop comparing yourself to people that have already went through their process. I know you see, you know, all, all the different leaders inside of My Elite System Pro, all the different leaders in the industry of just it, leaders in your company. You see them on stage and like, man, they're just wow. Man, they're just wow. Look at their family, man. Look, look, look where they live. Look at the car that they're driving. Look at what's going on with. Wow. They're perfect. I can never be like them. Wrong. You just see the end result of them going through their process. They had, trust me, they've had those they had those days. <laughs> trust me, right? They had they had days where things weren't working perfectly. They had those days. They had days where they couldn't quite figure out how to how to tie the autoresponder to the capture page and create the campaign to sequentially deliver the emails at the right time. They had those days, but they just did it. And since they went through the process and now you see all the success, then you look at their success. Man, I can't, man, I can't do that. I can't make a video like that. I can't, I, I can't do that. I can't, I can't present like that. You see that guy, you see, he just crushed this crap. I can't present like that. But you don't remember years ago, or you didn't see years ago when he got on stage and he just lost, he just didn't know what to say. He was stumbling over all, all his words. You don't, see, you didn't see that. You didn't see, you weren't there at that meeting. Oh, you didn't see the guy when, you see the videos and all the different things that they're doing right now. And they look so amazing, but you didn't, you didn't look at the, the first video where it looked like, you know, just something out of the 1970s or something. <laughs> you, you didn't see that video. They went through their process. Okay. Guess what? I'm going to let everybody hear on a little secret. You're going to have to go through your process too. There aren't any shortcuts. Unfortunately, there aren't. We all have to go through our process. Just like everybody else did. Just like all these leaders who you look up to and you're like, wow, that, that's amazing. Look at where they live. Man, look at that house. Can you believe that? Man, look at that car. Oh my God. But they went through their process. Through most cases, years of hard work. Guess what? You're going to have to do the same thing. Here's the other thing. You can do it, too. You can do it, too. You can do it. And I'm not, I mean, I'm not even trying to be all, like, motivational. I'm just keeping it real, guys. We, it's 2020. Technology and all the things with these phones and all this stuff, everybody here can win. You just have to make a decision and stay consistent. Because of technology has leveled the playing field. It, it doesn't, social media has leveled the playing field. You can do it. Stop comparing yourself to people that have already been through their process. Congratulate them. Congratulate them. Be happy for them. Now you go to work so we can congratulate you. That's how it needs to work. That's, that's, that's the beginning of it. That's what you need to do. You have to have that mindset. Stop comparing yourself to these people. Applaud them. Congratulate them. Welcome them. But now you have to do your own so we can turn around and do that for you as well. Okay, so that was number three. Number four. Okay, type a one if you're getting some, some value from this. If I'm making sense. Okay, just type one in the comments. So number four. Uh, number four is impatient being impatient this is a big one this is a really big one here um uh, 
and, and, and I and I know I, I get it. Like I said before, just keeping it real. I know this industry, you know, capture pages and launches and all this stuff, you know, comes around and, and we just get excited when people are making money and we got this system and this system does that and this op company will pay you this amount of money and this company will give you this kind of bonus and all that stuff. I get it. I totally understand. We get caught up in it. I get it, right? But and then we join the business and we just, man, I got to get this sale real quick. I got to get a sale. Man, it's, only, it's been two days, Steve. I haven't gotten a sale yet. See, it's been it's been a week, Steve. I haven't gotten a sale yet. I haven't gotten a lead yet. Well, I can take, if I took the time, of course, and I do with a lot of people when I have this conversation, I can look at, see what they're doing on the reason why they're not getting a lead, not getting a, a sale or whatever. What you're going to have to do, you're going to have to be patient with yourself. Because I know you get into the group of the company or whatever, like, and you're seeing the people, oh, such and such just made $1,000 today. Such and such just brought in two people today. You see it and you're on your phone. You're like, man, what are they doing? How is this? What? Huh? He made $2,000 this week? What? I can't even get a lead. What's going on? Hey, remember, we all come from different backgrounds. You don't know their background. You don't know. Yeah, that person might have made $2,000 today. But you don't know, maybe they've been doing this stuff for years and they got a following of people that they've been working with that said, hey, oh, you're doing this company? Well, I'm in. And then we, we see that and we're like, well, shit, I should be getting 2,000 bucks. No, you shouldn't be getting 2,000 bucks today because you haven't paid the price yet. You haven't built the business. You haven't built your business, your brand. Make sense? We all got to start from somewhere. But if you stay consistent, I'm not saying it should take you six months to get a lead. No, if you do the right activity, you can start getting leads day one. If you're doing the right activity, I, I, I do 110% believe that if you do the right activity, if you do the right activity, what you will learn inside of my lead system pro, if you do the right activity, you can start getting leads today. Could some of those leads turn into sales? Absolutely. Do some of those leads turn into sales for some people? Absolutely, they do. Absolutely, 110%. But you're gonna have to be patient with yourself. Do the right activity, focus on the process. That's what you need to focus on. A lot of times we wanna focus on this. Well, it's been three days, Steve, man, I haven't got one. Hey, well, you're focusing on, I know you got a car note coming up. I know you got your mortgage. I get it, but you're gonna to have to focus on the activity. The activity is what pays. You wanting to get paid is not gonna make you get paid. We all want a commission. I get it, we, we want a commission. We want to get paid. We want to have success but that doesn't mean that you're gonna get success. <laughs> but just because you want it, that doesn't mean anything. To the universe doesn't care about that. The universe doesn't say, well, he wants, well, I'm gonna give, no. The universe doesn't care about that. The universe reacts to what you put in the universe, the activity. If you're working hard, if you're sharing, if you're doing the right activity. I ain't, I'm not talking about, well, well, Steve, I've been spamming my link to sign my sign up link all for the last three, four, five days. That's not the right activity. That's not going to breed results. It's just, it's just not, it's not going to work. So you're going to have to be patient, do the right activity, do the right methods and things will start happening for some of you listening, watching right now. We don't, we, maybe you're new. And in about three months, we're going to start knowing who you are because of the activity that you're doing. Some of you, it might take about six months. Some of you might take about a year. But because of what you're doing, because remember, we all, we're all coming from different backgrounds, right? So you just got to be patient, whether it's three months, whether it's six months, whether it's a year to where you're having breakthrough, just focus on it. Okay. We're all, we all can get to the, cross the finish line. So when you see somebody just came in day one and they hit the top of the comp plan or whatever, you know, don't be like, man, I can't do that. Well, yeah, you can't because they've already, they've already paid their price. They went through their process, right? So you can't be impatient and say, well, I should be hitting the comp plan on day two then. No, no, no. 
<laughs> you, is it possible? Yeah, if you do the right activity and you're consistent with it. Okay, so that was number four. Number five, num last one, last one. Um, this is a big one as well. Um, in 2020, you're going to need to drop the excuses. Whatever they may, whatever, whatever they may be. You know, well, Steve, I got to work 50 hours a week, and I got to pick up my daughter from from uh, uh, soccer practice, and then I, I got to come home, then I got to cook, and I can't do this. Well, if you believe so, well, you can't. That's just an excuse. There's people that have been in worse situations than you that have still made it, still went through their process, and now they're on top, right? Doing big things, make moving and shaking, you know, seeing the world, living a, living their better their best life. The people that, that are doing it, you know, well, Steve, I can't, I don't, well, I'm not a techie person. Oh my God, how many times have I heard that? I'm not a techie person. Well, that's an excuse. Are you going to stay not being a techie person? So if you're not a techie, that's fine. Everybody comes from different backgrounds. Maybe you haven't done a lot of stuff around computers, but guess what? You can learn. You know what? You probably never thought of this. None of us we're techie people in the beginning. We just made a choice. I'm like, hey, well, I gotta, I gotta figure out this autoresponder thing out. I gotta figure out how to do these capture pages. I just gotta figure it out. It's, it looks a little woo. Boy, that looks a woo. Whoa. <laughs> I gotta figure it out though. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna, fi no excuses. I'm going to figure it out because there have been other people that have been in worse situations or worse understanding than me that are making big money, that are doing incredible things financially in their business. And if they can do it, I can do it. What makes them any different? I might learn a little bit different. I might be a little slower. I might be a little faster. They did it in, you know, six months. Maybe I can do it in five. It's all, it's, it's just making a decision. Make success happen for you in spite of whatever. Doesn't matter. We all have challenges, things with family, things with finances, things with transportation, things with, with technology, things with this and things with that and situations about this and situations about that and I don't have this and I don't have that and I'm not this way and I'm not that way. We can go on and on and on, but you're going to have to make a decision and be like, you know what, am I going to let these excuses keep me from my dreams? And some of you will. Unfortunately, some of you will, some of you will dwell on it and you, you, some of you won't have the courage to get past it. I'm just keeping it real. I've, I've just seen it so much over the years. However, on the flip side of that, some of you will have the courage to get over those excuses, to get over those challenges, to to get to the next stage in your business, in your life, in general. You just have to choose. Is it you? Are you gonna do it? You know, um, type in make a change. Just type in make a change in the comments. If you're gonna make a change this year and that change is really just doing something different. You're gonna have to look at what your leaders are doing and, and again, guys, we all, we, we all have challenges. We all have things that we need to drop. And remember I said before at the beginning of this call, this list is actually longer. There's a lot of different things here, but I picked five because I think these are very impactful um, that can really make a difference. You know, if we drop entitlement, the negativity, the comparisons, the being impatient and the excuses, remember, those are all things that these aren't really per se skills. It's really a mindset. It's a way of thinking. And, and if you can change the way you think, things will start happening for you. And, and that's how you, you have to focus on that. You can do it. You definitely can. You can. All this stuff that you hear from a lot of these incredible leaders, 
uh, inside this community, inside the industry. It's all true. It really is because we live in an age now where we're so connected. Everybody's connected. Everybody never before have we been so connected before. And you don't have to go out of your home. I mean, you can, when you're in front of your computer, you actually can connect with millions of people. But with that takes understanding of one, you understanding of the process and just being patient and letting the process do what it does best. It, it'll deliver for you. Just it, all this stuff works. It's all based around psychology and what people would do and how people buy and why people buy and all that stuff. Everything we have here works. Um, you just have to believe in it. Believe in it, guys. This is this, it's January 2020. We've got 12 months ahead of us to make to make a change, to make an impact. And you just have to you have to believe and you have to decide that this is going to be my year of breakthrough. And if you make that decision and and stick with the plan, amazing things can start happening for you. And, and, and that's why I'm excited. And that's why at the beginning of every year, we're all excited. This is something a little bit different. It's it's a new decade. It's 2020, the year of vision, right? And, and so you can definitely do it. And I believe in you. I know everybody here watching can definitely do it. So those are my five points, um, things that you need to drop in 2020 to have success. Hopefully you got some, some value from this. Um, um, you definitely want to make sure that you just follow through on it and just, just do what you have to do this year to make it work. Cause you can, you can, you can do it. Guys, it's 2020. <laughs> this isn't like 1985 where things may be a little bit more challenging. Guys, we got technology in this community and just all the resources that we have, we can all have success. Okay, we just got to go through the process. So hope you got some value from this, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Hey, let's tackle today's activities. Um, you know, make Monday count for you. Make this week count for you. Uh, let's 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 set the stage. This is let's set the stage. This is the week to set the stage for the rest of the year. This is the week to set the stage. Okay, to set the foundation of what is to come throughout the rest of the year for the months to come so hey guys enjoy the rest of your day enjoy your week love you guys and we'll see you guys over the top peace out